in episode two of season two, there is a fantastic scene where the party runs into the villains for the first time. They, they meet Ernest and Patrick. And that scene, we were able to rehearse a whole lot with John and Drew who play uh, Patrick and Ernest. And, and it was so funny. And on the page, the couple read throughs we did as the whole group of us, both John, Drew and the whole main party and everybody. I mean, they were, we were laugh out loud. They were hilarious. But then when we got to set, we started to do the scene and we realized that it was not working. I was funny. really hoping this was going to be more fun. I was too. And what we figured out was that the party was just way too stagnant. Like, while well, there's this huge threat in front of them. And at one point, Marcus gets hit. Like, I'm just on the ground. And I remember thinking to myself, boy, this feels kind of weird that I'm just laying here. And I think all the actors, too, were sort of getting the same idea. So there was this big, like, hey, time out, everybody. Let's figure some stuff out. And we sort of just reworked the scene while on set. And now it is one of my very favorite scenes. The proper amount of complete and utter chaos combined with just complete disbelief on the other end. The stunt that was most memorable, or really the entire time, because it was the first time I've ever done a stunt like that, was the part where Ernest does shoot me and I get pulled back. You have to jump up and relax your body as they tug to give that effect of being flung back. The most interesting and fun part was after obviously he pulls, there is a crash pad behind you to fall on. So you start it with, you know, being that close to you just as a trial to get used to falling. So each time he would pull me, he would go back a bit further. And there was one point where I turned back and it was so far back and I was like, TJ, what, why is that way back there? He's like, don't worry, I got you. I'm like, I'm not worried about you getting me, I'm worried about the crash pad getting me. Woo! Okay. It's such a quick movement that you don't realize how far back you're flying. When I hit that pad, I was actually amazed because I was like, I just flew like 200 feet behind me. I always want to go harder. Glitter Blast happens, and Glitter Blast is awesome. It's this big burst of firework lights that has no tangible effect. You know, most of the spell effects are largely after effects, but we decided to go practical with this one. I don't like that look. You're excited. I have a sinister look. It's like that old cartoon thing. Well, I can do this trick, but I can only do it once. We had a big old bucket of glitter, right? Hit your mark, okay. You only get one shot at this. All right, Drew, here you go. And I had to like basically take it in the face with a bunch of glitter and just not, and not move and get angry. <laughs> That's why I just split a blast me. It's fun to take a spell that nobody would ever think twice about and make it the most crucial vital element to the party's survival. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Walking in Circles. I hope that it's unnecessary to say this, but don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button. It's so awesome that I can't even speak words coming out of my mouth. That's how awesome it is. So hit that button there. And of course, if you want to check out cool behind the scenes stuff, hit any one of these buttons here. And if you want to check out season one, hit that button there. If you want to check out the rest of season two, hit this button right here. And of course, don't forget to download the Prime TV app because that helps support us. And you can always check out our website right over here. And you can see really cool photos, videos, bios of all your favorite characters at Walking in Circles. So I hope you've hit that subscribe button because repetition is the key. I keep saying subscribe, you'll just be like, what? And click that mouse. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe and see more of me, if anything, or more Angie, or more woodland stuff. Yeah, like this bear. There are no bears in Walking in Circles, but you know what? If you hit subscribe and download the Prime TV app, there might be bears in the future. It's how you can support us, and that's your impact on life. My life and your subscribe.